Hello, everyone. When someone tells you that you are doing wrong, are you able to handle it? Do you see it as a personal attack? When someone tells you that you did this wrong and you should stop it. Like, do you always challenge what they are saying, even though what they are saying is true? But when you judge a person, or how can I say this? When it comes down to you, aren't you quick to criticize people? Whether you have all the facts or not, are you so quick to judge a person? But on the other hand, you don't like to be judged. Like you take it very, very personally to where you will argue a person down when they are telling you something that is true about yourself. So you are quick to criticize, but can't handle really to be criticized. Do you find yourself thinking to yourself or saying it out forth? Do you see yourself, do you see your feelings? Yes, more important than others. Like, you want a person to sit there and listen to what you have to say. Listen to your problems. Listen to your feelings. When it's time for the other person to do the same, do you find yourself bored? <laughs> Do you find yourself bored? Do you find yourself not really interested? Like, do you find yourself wanting that person to hurry up to be quiet so you can talk more on yourself? <laughs> do you feel like you are always right? Even if someone is telling you that you are wrong, do you feel like you are right anyway because, hey, it is you. If you did something wrong to a person, and let's say another person comes to you and asks you what happened, do you leave out important details that will explain where you are wrong at? Do you purposely leave those details out or twist it to where it seems like it was the other person's fault for whatever that went wrong. Do you spend a lot of time speaking about your achievements, about how amazing you are, about how great you are, and about what type of car you have, about uh, what you did back in the past, about what type of house you have, about how much money you have, about how smart, how smarter you are than people and stuff. Like, do you spend so much time talking to people about yourself and how great you think you are? Do you like pushing people boundaries? Let's say someone tells you, listen, please don't do this or that. And that is exactly what you do. Like the more, like if someone tells you to not do this and not do that, sometimes it may not, in the beginning, it probably wasn't in your mind to do it, but because someone told you to not do it, you do it anyway. <laughs> what type of person are you? Seriously, what type of person are you?
Do you always feel like the victim? No matter what you do, no matter what you say, you are the victim. Even if it is your fault, you are the victim. You did wrong, you said the wrong thing, and when things come out wrong, you are the victim. People treated you wrong, and if you did wrong, it is right because somehow you can justify your wrongdoing because of something that you perceived as wrong in another person. You justify your wrongdoing just because you perceived something that a person did as wrong. What type of person are you? Is it a surprise? Many people don't really want to speak with you. Many people don't really want to hang out with you. So what you do, since you know the way you are will turn off people, you begin to act fake. You begin to act like the people you hang around so that they won't know the true way you are. So you hide yourself. What are those creatures that blend in to their environment? Like you are one of those creatures in a sense. I am not saying all of this to speak badly about you, but you need to change. I believe you know, or maybe you don't know, but you should know that behavior like this is not right. And if you are behaving like this, you are hurting people. And that is probably one of the reasons why people get turned off by you. You are selfish. You are not meek. You are not humble. You always want things to turn out your way, even if it is going to hurt other people. You are very impatient. You are quick to anger. You are quick to criticize. You are quick, quick to become bitter and hateful. Like your mind is on negativity day in and day out. Being so focused on negativity, you begin to attack people with your words, with your actions, just being very rude, being very mean, so ready to spoil a person's day because you are feeling bad inside. What type of person are you? Guess what? There is hope. There is hope. You can give your life to Jesus Christ right now. And you may say to me, Kevin, I have tried many times trying to give my life to Jesus Christ and it doesn't work. It does work. It does work. You have to put in constant, constant effort. You can't treat it like you know, let me do, you know, a minute here, five minutes there, you know, let me just acknowledge God a little here, a little there. That's it. No, this is a day in and day in. I mean, this is a day in and day out job. You may like dancing a lot, right? You may play so much effort into dancing. You may watch videos of Beyonce and these other, well, let me watch what I say, like these loose women or loose men. You may watch them dance to learn how to dance. You, you may play so much effort into learning how to dance. Okay. The same effort 
you put in to learn how to dance and all that stuff like that, place that same effort and more into learning about God, into learning to obey God, into learning his rules. I believe it is a lot better to place more effort into God into, than into these worldly things, these things that won't even last very long. Put your mind more on the eternal than, than on the temporary. T-H-A-N. You are only going to be alive for a short time period. It is time to stop playing around as if you have so many more years. Do you actually know when you are going to die? I don't think so. Once you die, you are going to go to another place. You will go to heaven or hell. So if you think about it, even if you get so much pleasure in doing what is wrong, even if you get so much pleasure into hurting people, I think there are some sick people out there who enjoy hurting people. Even if you find that enjoyable, is it really worth going to hell, going to hell over? I don't think it is. Please give your life to Jesus Christ now while you still have the chance. May God bless us.